In this video, we're going to be covering the installation and configuration process for the Ecologic Host Integration Toolkit for VMware. Part 1 of this video will cover installing the virtual appliance that the Host Integration Toolkit is delivered upon. And Part 2 of this video will cover the configuration of the software. Part 1. Installing the Host Integration Toolkit Virtual Appliance. The Host Integration Toolkit for VMware is delivered as a virtual appliance and can be downloaded from the Ecologic Support website. To install the Host Integration Toolkit, start by logging into your vSphere environment with the vSphere client. From the home page, click on File and deploy OVF Template. This will start the OVF Template importation wizard. Click Browse and browse the location where you place the OVA file you previously downloaded from the Ecologic Support website. Click Open and then click Next to move to the next screen. This screen provides us with some additional information about the OVF template that we are importing. On the Name and Location page, you are provided with the opportunity to alter the name of the virtual machine and are required to select a location in which the virtual machine will be placed. Click Next to continue. On the Host and Clusters page, you need to select which data center and cluster you wish to place the virtual machine in. Depending on your cluster's DRS settings, you may also be required to select which host. On the Storage page, you are required to select a volume on which the virtual appliance will be installed upon. Click Next to continue. On the Disk Format page, you are provided with a choice of VMDK formats to be used for the virtual appliance. As the Host Integration Virtual Appliance communicates with vCenter and the Ecologic PS Series Array, and as these are often on separate subnets, the Host Integration Virtual Appliance is configured to be able to access two networks. Set the management network on a subnet that can communicate with vCenter and view if you're using VDI. and set the storage management network on a subnet that can communicate with the Ecologic Array. If the Ecologic Array is configured to use a dedicated management network port, use this subnet as opposed to the iSCSI network. Click Next to continue. The Ready to Complete page will display a summary of the configuration choices. Check the Power On box to automatically have the virtual machine be booted once the import is completed. Click Finish to begin the import process. The process of importing the virtual machine will take a couple of minutes. Once the import is complete, click Close. This completes the importation process for the Host Integration Toolkit VMware Edition Virtual Appliance. In Part 2, we're going to cover configuring the Host Integration Toolkit for VMware. In this section, we're going to cover the configuration of the Host Integration Toolkit for VMware Edition. Let's start by accessing the console. Login as root. The majority of the configuration is assigning IPs to the two network interfaces and providing IP and credentials to the virtual appliance so that it can communicate with vCenter, VUE, and the Ecologic PS Series group. I've gone ahead and configured these in the interest of time but let us review the most commonly used settings and what they require. One of the first things that you want to do is to change the password from the defaults. This is covered in option 12 of the menu. Another setting you'll want to change is the time zone. Use option 1 to set this to your local time zone. Option 2 is used to configure the management network. The management network is used for communicating with Virtual Center and View. As you can see, the information requested here is the typical information required of any machine to communicate on an IP network. Press Y to proceed with these settings. You may have noticed that Reboot Appliance is now being flagged as required. This is because we've added some changes to some of the settings. It is not necessary to reboot the appliance until you've made all your changes. 
Option three is for configuring the IP information for the storage management network. Again, like option two, this is primarily just setting IP addresses. Option four is for configuring the host integration toolkit virtual appliance with information on how we can communicate with virtual center. The HitVE software will verify that the settings provided enable it to communicate with Virtual Center. Option 5 is used to provide the host integration toolkit with information so they can communicate with an Ecologic PS Series group. Again, as with Option 4, we're essentially providing the host integration toolkit software with IP information and credentials so they can communicate with the Ecologic PS Series group. The host integration toolkit software will immediately verify whether this information is valid and will attempt a connection with the PS series group. Option 6 is used to enable the host integration toolkit to communicate with VMware View. Option 7 is used for configuring VASA. VASA is the VMware APIs for storage awareness, which enables vSphere to query the array about configuration of individual volumes. In this step, you are creating a user account which vCenter will use for communicating with the VASA provider. At this stage, the configuration steps are completed and all that remains to be done is for the Ecologic plugin to be registered with vCenter. This is completed by using option 8. If a reboot is required, it will force it at this time. Now that the host integration toolkit is fully configured, let's take a quick look at what it makes available in the environment. From the home page, in the Solutions and Applications section, there are now three Ecologic icons. Ecologic Data Store Manager, Ecologic Auto Snapshot Manager, and Ecologic Virtual Desktop Deployment Utility. Other videos will cover the functionality of these tools in depth. On behalf of Dell, thank you and have a great day.